This is actually crazy. NBA referee Eric Lewis is retiring in the aftermath of his social media activity. <laughs> what the fuck? NBA statement regarding referee Eric Lewis. NBA referee Eric Lewis has informed the league office that he is retiring, effective immediately. In light of his decision, the NBA's investigation into social media activity has been closed. Now, I ain't gonna lie. It cannot be more obvious that that fucking burner was actually his. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what else has to fucking happen. It was him, okay? That burner was him. <laughs> Eric Lewis, you got caught, buddy. You got fucking caught. Now, I will say... L Mans, because you didn't help us enough. Didn't help us enough, buddy. Where were you when we needed you? You couldn't hide it for like one, you couldn't hide it for three more years, bro. We got a championship window right now, buddy. Come on. Tee up. Tee up. You're lucky Scott Foster's in the league. God. I'm saying, but yeah, he's guilty. He is guilty. That's tough though for him, um, and his family. But hey, man, I've always had the theory, and this is a recent theory. The NBA is more rigged than you think. I've I've been saying that for the last year. I know people don't want to. Hey. This is this is them finding out Santa Claus isn't fucking real. But the NBA rigs what they can rig. I've been saying this. I think the lottery is completely rigged. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say it right now. I think the lottery is completely rigged. I think referees are the NBA's way of controlling games as much as they can. Obviously, there there are certain variables that they cannot control. Um, I don't think there's magnets in the fucking um, rim or in the ball. I don't think it has gotten that far. Um, but the NBA controls what they can control, specifically through the referees. I understand we can point to a lot of these referee calls being human error, which it could also be. But at the same token, it would not pass me if the NBA is using that exact same logic to be inconsistent with calls on purpose. Period point blank. Period point blank. You know what I'm saying? It's really not, in my opinion, it's really not that controversial of a take. It shouldn't be at least. It shouldn't be at least. Um, you know, I, I think the NBA at the end of the day is a business. They would like to do what makes them the most money. Um... This is a billion dollar industry. Control what you can control. Fuck it. Fuck it. Control what the fuck you can control and keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Now, hide it as much as you can. Because if it really gets out that the NBA is closer to the WWE than actual sports, then you're, you're kind of fucked there, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I think the NBA loses a lot of the allure if that shit comes out. Um, But, yeah, the NBA controls... What it can't control. Also, I find it very, very odd that over the last couple of years, like, the NBA has really, truly been promoting sports gambling. And they're the NBA. I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's just the NBA promoting sports gambling just does not feel right with me in terms of this conversation. I personally don't care about them actually promoting sports gambling, like the ethics of it. Um, but in terms of the NBA being rigged type shit, I don't know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> There's something, something's off. Something's off. But yeah, Eric Lewis, you're a cook, buddy. Um, start a podcast. Hey, that's what everyone's doing nowadays, man. Start a podcast. Get your clips out. You can, you can be the NBA's version of the whistleblower. You know what I'm saying? You could be that guy. You can be on Joe Rogan. You could be on Ellen. Eric Lewis, I believe in you. I really do. I really do, Eric. You know. So been trying to tell us this whole time. That's what I've been saying. 